Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Johnny and today I'm going to be doing another desk tour, which might seem a little bit early considering the last one wasn't too long ago, but since my wife and I are expecting our first kid, we had to actually boot me out of my old office and bring me out into the main living area. But that actually provided a lot of opportunity for me to throw out and declutter a lot of things and maybe even get a little more of what I have in mind and envisioned for my desk setup. So I'm able to go a little bit over what I've got, things that I have on my desk, the actual PC running the operation, and just kind of my thought process of what decisions I were, was making and based on what. Hopefully it's a lot of fun. I don't know. Let's get into it. So this is the room where the desk used to be. Desk used to be right here next to the bookshelf. And there used to be my wife's desk right here and a standing desk right up against the window there. But now this is be turning into a nursery for our daughter, which I'm very excited about. I've got to repaint everything, put in some stuff, some other clutter, but things are coming together. So this is where I had to move out and now I'm over in the other room, but I kind of like it better. Let's begin with the desk itself. My last desk was at least 10 years old, so I got rid of that and went for something a little more modern and minimal. I wanted something that had a lot of surface area and no drawers to keep things spacious and light. So I grabbed this desk from Ikea for about $250 and I love it. It's big and it's spacious and it allows me not to feel cramped and locked in one position and it's height adjustable. Though some things I don't like about it is that the back metal piece is not connected to its wood surface. That gap is there for supposed cable management but I find it just to be a little bit annoying at times. Though there's also this net underneath to help hold and hide cables, except it's a net and it's see-through. But I quickly got over it and honestly I think it's an awesome desk that offers a lot for its price. I currently have an all black desk mat from Razer, but I'm not so much of a fan of it. I mean it does a job, but it shows every little speckle of dust when you use it. It was cheap, so that's why I got it, but I wouldn't recommend this at all. Honestly, a lot of Razer's products now are kind of trash. My PC currently runs an i9-1200K Intel processor with a Corsair AI liquid radiator cooler with three intake fans and three exhaust fans. It has 64 gigs of DDR5 RAM and it's on an ROG motherboard rocking three terabytes of M.2 SSD storage and eight terabytes of external HDD storage. Also, the PC has a 3080 Ti graphics card from EVGA. I have the Razer Ixer gaming chair currently at my desk, but all I have to say is the $400 or so that it costs is not worth it. It's definitely better than any kitchen chair, but there's not a back cushion or lumbar support in the chair. The seat itself isn't comfy for long sitting periods, and that's why I have to put a pillow on the seat. And the adjustability is just minimal. So if you're looking for a gaming chair, avoid Razer altogether, honestly. So I currently use a Canon camcorder that I use for my live streams and let's plays. It's simple and it works and it's 1080p and that's all I need. I use it with the Elgato cam link with OBS and that's as simple as I really want it to be. Of course there's setups that you can get crazy with or there's other solutions to it but for right now and for me that's all I need to do any live streaming. Just a simple camcorder. So you've definitely seen this product before in my other videos and it's called the Loom Cube. It's an LED portable light and I currently use it for my live streams to illuminate my face and honestly Beside it being on my desk right now, it comes with me everywhere. I love it, it's a great tool to use, and if you're into cameras or anything like that, I suggest getting something like this, if not just this product in itself. Highly suggest it, highly recommend it. It's a great tool to have in your bag. This here is the Ember Mug, which you have probably seen on the channel a few times. It sits on my desk for whenever I need it. It's convenient and it's practical, and since it has a lot of tech in it, I love it. This here is my Xbox One controller when I play games either at my desk or at the TV. Now it is a wired controller, but honestly, it's super programmable. It has multiple buttons on the back and it just has an awesome build quality and feel to it. Here is one of my favorite products that I own and that's definitely on my desk. And if you're curious, I do have a review on it and it's the Remarkable Tablet 2. I generally use this tablet all the time, especially for when I need to brainstorm or plan out videos or do homework for school. I hate having loose paper everywhere, so this is an awesome and minimal solution to that problem. And it just looks good on the desk with the sleeve and everything just kind of being this monochromatic look. Here are just some books that have been lying around for school that I need to use. Uh, so I don't know, there's nothing really special about it, but it's there on my desk. So there you have it. 
Alrighty, so I have the Sony WH-1000X M3 headphones. They're absolutely stellar and comfortable. They fit the tech black color scheme and they are a high quality product that I would highly recommend if you're looking to buy some headphones. They're noise canceling and they offer an ambient sound control mode as well. So the keyboard I use is a Keychron mechanical keyboard with Cherry MX Red switches sporting a 98% keyboard layout. It is completely wireless, so you don't have one of those little USB receivers to make it wireless. It just has no cable. Also, I have a Razer mouse, which honestly is pretty good, but its name is just too difficult to pronounce. But it's wireless, it does a job, so can't complain there. All right, next is my Google HomePod, which is just kind of sits around until I need to use it. So nothing exciting here, but it is useful at times, and sometimes it answers when I never spoke to it, so I don't know. Next, I use an Avid Fast Track Solo Audio Interface that has one XLR input and one quarter inch input. It's simple, built like a tank, and does a job. I do wish I had more controls on it, but I've had this device for many years, so there's no need for me to upgrade yet. So the art piece that I decided to put on my desk is the Lego Lamborghini Countach, which is one of my favorite cars of all time. And so I love Legos and I love collecting them, and this little thing was just a perfect fit for the desk takes up no usable space. It looks great displayed underneath the main monitor. And also, Legos will always be cool. Here's Gustav. He just chills on my desk. That's it. Straight chilling. Nothing to it. Next up is my Behringer B1 microphone and the double filtered pop filter. Now, the Behringer is a sturdy, wonderful, and robust microphone. I love this thing. I've been using it for about like 10 years now. It's a little bit overkill for my uses, but it is what it is, and it works, and so I'm going to use it. So there you have it, my desk setup. Probably how it's going to be for a little bit while now, but I like to keep things minimal and purposeful so I don't go crazy with the clutter and the hectic organizing from throughout my day to day. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, and if you love the channel, consider subscribing. But for now, I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces.